she was That's the little something special like grandma's. Like that? <laughs> Whoa, Jasmine, you inhaled that. special. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that didn't take long. What's up guys? So as you can see here, and you probably noticed from my last couple of videos, I did in fact decide to take your guys' advice and get the SPD knee sleeves. I decided to spend the extra money on that and just not get wrist wraps. I figured wrist wraps probably aren't the biggest deal, so I saved the money there to justify the knee sleeves. So, big shout out to Dan Home Physiques for this uh, tutorial that he put up that I will link on the screen somewhere. This was a huge help. I just randomly saw this video before I even had SPDs, and if I hadn't seen it, I don't know that I ever would have gotten these knee sleeves on. So big shout out to him. Thank you very much for that. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. Really good stuff. You won't be disappointed at all. And on this day, I had a 3x2 on squats, a 3x2 on bench, and a 2x1 on deadlift. Staying pretty heavy. This was actually from, I believe this was from Sunday. By the time you guys see this video, it will be Friday. I will be one day out from my competition, so almost there, getting really excited. Kind of going back and forth between my coach. He wants me to kind of keep it a little more conservative on this one since it's my first ever meet, make sure I don't have any technical errors, make sure I get a feel for things. Talking about how the, uh, the feel of a meet is completely different than in a gym. Now I know there's a lot of uh, extra adrenaline, but at the same time the weights could be different. They're all calibrated, it's gonna have I'm gonna have different bars, it won't be as forgiving, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm definitely gonna take his starting weights with my first attempt, and then I'll just kinda of see how it goes from there. If it just feels super, super easy, I'll bump up the weights a little bit, and I'll, I'll go for broke. If it feels pretty tough, tougher than I thought it would, I'll stick with his weights, and then we'll see how it goes, but regardless of that, I'm really looking forward to it, I can't wait. It's, I've been preparing for a long time now, and I'm feeling good. The elbow has been feeling good, no problems there. I'm staying healthy, things are going well, so really not too much to complain about. All I have to do now is make sure to do the things that I'm supposed to do leading up, make sure I'm getting plenty of water, eating right. I'm really close to the actual weight limit. 205 is the weight class that I'm performing in, and I am at, as of this morning, I was 204 pounds, this morning being Tuesday morning. So as long as I can stay right there, I should be good. Shouldn't have any issues. Just gotta make sure I don't do anything crazy. And on this day, one of the things I was really trying to make sure I was doing was pausing the weights at the end of each set. Because I really have the tendency to just put the weights down as soon as I'm done, just from normal training. But obviously in the competition, I can't do that. I gotta hold it until they tell me to rack. So I was practicing that. Also practicing putting the weight down lightly after the deadlift so I don't get any technical errors for doing something stupid after I hit my weights. So. That's it for now, one day out. I will try to get up my video as soon as I possibly can when I am done. And talk to you guys later.